What's going on on my YouTube videos? I'm Jacob and welcome to another installment of Celebrating Disney where each week I review and celebrate all things Disney, animated or live action regardless of quality under the main Disney banner. Got a live action review this week and in today's video I'll be reviewing the 2014 sports drama Million Dollar Arm. In a last-ditch effort to save his career, sports agent J.B. Bernstein dreams up a wild game plan to find Major League Baseball's next great pitcher from a pool of cricket players in India. He soon discovers two young men who can throw a fastball but know nothing about the game of baseball, or America. So Million Dollar Arm was released in 2014. It fascinates me the people who actually worked on this movie. The film was written by Tom McCarthy, who a year later directed the Best Picture winner Spotlight. So it's crazy he wrote a Disney sports drama and directed a Best Picture winner about a journalist group uncovering sex scandals in the Catholic Church. Now that's insane right there. And then the film was directed by Craig Gillespie, who would later go on and direct Disney's live-action remake Cruella, which was a pleasant surprise, and I really loved that movie. So it's interesting who all worked on this movie. This is yet another Disney sports film released in an ever-growing market of sports films that Disney popularized throughout the 2000s and early 2010s. Much like my recent watch of McFarlane USA, I remember seeing the ads for this movie, but the film just looked you know, too generic and run-of-the-mill, and I'm just like, I don't have any real interest in seeing this movie. And so I brushed it off and forgot about it. And much like McFarlane USA, this was a request for my Celebrating Disney series. And so by request, I'm reviewing Million Dollar Arm for this Celebrating Disney series. And I was curious about this one, if it was going to be as surprisingly enjoyable as McFarlane USA. And I respect anyone for liking movies like this. There's good ingredients in this movie. I like the story that's being told on paper. I mean, you have a movie based on a true story about India's first baseball players. I mean, there's something you can do with that. And I think the story is interesting enough if told well. And I like what they were trying to do on paper. There's good talent behind the camera. It's a well-produced Disney sports film. And you got some good people working behind the camera. Like you got the future director of Cruella and the writer of Spotlight. There's something you could do with this. And you mean you got some good actors and talents across the board. You got John Hamm as the sports agent. Bill Paxton as the coach. Uh, you got Lake Bell who shows up as like a love interest for our main character. And you even got the Joe's Pizza guy from Spider-Man 2 is even in this movie. Cool. Yeah, that actually adds a little bit of positivity to a movie that, I'm going to say it, really frustrated me. I was not that wowed or blown away by Million Dollar Arm. This is one of the more frustrating sports movies that I've watched in a while because of the way this movie was executed. I'm sure the story itself is inspiring. And I'm sure this movie was made out of passion and out of love, but... I personally wasn't a fan of how this story, at least this Hollywoodized version of what actually happened was executed because the movie does take the Disney sports drama beats, I feel like puts it in a blender and this one just does not stand out compared to the other Disney sports films, especially ones that I love compared to like, compared to this to like Remember the Titans and Glory Road and Miracle, and even McFarlane USA, which has a lot of great elements to it. This does not stand out to me in any way, except the whole cultural aspects between uh, the Indian players and them struggling to adapt to uh, American culture, which is a lot different than what, hap what, what goes on in India. There's a couple of fish-out-of-water elements that was kind of entertaining, but... The movie itself, I honestly was bored by this movie. Like, there were several parts of the movie where I honestly fell asleep. 
And even, like, the way the characters are presented, like, I wasn't a fan, personally, of the main character, JB, played by John Hamm. Now, John Hamm's a good actor, don't get me wrong. And he definitely gives a committed performance, I will give him that. But I was not a fan of the way his character was written. The movie writes his character to be a very unlikable jerk throughout the course of the movie. Like, he uses this as an opportunity to save his career because his career is going down the toilet. Yet, he doesn't actually care about our characters that he recruits for a good chunk of the movie. Like, he's more obsessed with his wealth. He's obsessed with his lifestyle. He's obsessed with all the material stuff that he has more so than the players that he's trying to recruit. And he's using it as more of a promotional stunt uh, just to exploit talent. And that's pretty much his character throughout about 85% of the movie. He does not see the error of his ways. I clocked this. I checked the time when he realizes the error of his ways. He finally realizes he messed up. Like 95 minutes into a two-hour movie. We're down to the last 25 minutes of the movie and he has a change of heart. I feel like that's way too late for a character, especially your leading protagonist, to have a change of heart like that. And for me, I'm just like, I've struggled to really enjoy your character throughout the course of the movie, and you have to wait at the last minute to change. I wish the shift happened maybe midway into the movie, or maybe 45 minutes into the movie, and it was really hard getting in to this guy's journey when I struggled to get any real attachment to this character. And also, too, like the way the story was executed, the whole buildup is for the tryouts, and I thought that was honestly a mistake. Uh, I get that you wanted to do the fish out of water stuff and all, and all of that, and I feel like they should have done the tryouts maybe like halfway into the movie, and maybe the climax of the movie would be like, the baseball players actually playing an actual game or something. I think that would have been more exciting and more inspiring to see instead of it all building up to the tryout of them actually showing they can fastball very fast because they're dubbed the million dollar arm because they throw really fast. It kind of just fell apart for me. I mean, I get if you enjoy this movie. I can definitely understand that if you enjoy the storytelling and you enjoy the performances and the cinematography because there's good aspects technical wise there's good performances in this movie it is a well-made and well-produced disney sports film but me personally i struggled to get into this one i was pretty bored throughout the movie i couldn't get into the characters as much as other disney sports films and this is the one where i feel like disney took all the cliches of the disney sports genre took it in a blender, and just produced a random movie. I did not care for Million Dollar Arm. It's probably my least favorite of Disney sports movies because this is one I struggled to get into. I respect anyone for enjoying this movie, but for me personally, I thought Million Dollar Arm was a dud. So I'll be giving Million Dollar Arm a 2.5 out of 5 stars, and on the 100-point scale, it's getting a 47 out of 100. So that wraps up my review of Million Dollar Arm as part of my Celebrating Disney series where each week I review and celebrate all things Disney, animated or live action, regardless of quality under the main Disney banner. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you're a fan of Disney like I am, I'll leave a link in the description below for my Celebrating Disney playlist where you can check out all the Celebrating Disney reviews I've done on the channel so far, whether my animated or live action reviews. If you're new to my series, each week I alternate between animated and live action reviews. My animated reviews I'm reviewing in chronological order from Disney Animation to the direct -to video sequels along with Pixar. My live action reviews I'm doing in no particular order. They're freestyle and I leave room for requests. If there's any live action film or franchise you'd like me to tackle in celebrating Disney going forward, feel free to leave your request in the comments below or be on the lookout for polls in my community tab where you can help vote and select for future reviews on Celebrating Disney on the live action side of things. Join me next week in my Celebrating Disney series where I'll be diving into my next animated review. I'll be taking a look at the 2002 direct-to-video release, 
Tarzan and Jane, which I think is just cobbled together episodes of the Tarzan TV series. I'm not too excited for this movie, but we'll see how it goes. I'll tackle the film next week on Celebrating Disney, so be on the lookout for my review of Tarzan and Jane coming to the channel next week. But if you've seen Million Dollar Arm, let me know down in the comments below, would you follow the film? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button to see more content, and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, besides movie reviews, I also do TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!